The game is taking ages to load in, especially in different areas. What's going on? Cassie Lang is bugged and we look over how Kabam are dealing with it. Seven star celebration, missing point situation, another update on this one. And Kabam are overusing protection. <laughs> Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the MCM for Friday. Uh, I've got the app here so I can feed Deadpool. Here is a chimichanga. Chimichanga! I thought we might enjoy that, so uh, let's give him another. Hey, can I get a double patty? Mm -hmm. uh, Wolverine style. Okay. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Garcon, if this isn't as hot as Sunspot's meatballs, I'm sending it straight back to the kitchen. <laughs> That's new. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe with post notifications on all. Let's try and push now up to 68,000 subscribers. Remember, subscribing to a channel is free. Support channels. Now on to last night and loading issues. Uh, I think loading issues have been a thing for a little while now. Uh, but I definitely noticed like going from like match to match. I mean, there's a lot of game lag at the moment. Uh, and there's other stuff going on amongst other things with, with this. But uh, yeah, like the... Like the, the amount of time between screens, you see the swirly whirly kind of like white connection thing a lot more frequently for a long lasting time than uh, than it's been for a little while. Uh, and it's definitely kind of like refreshing that a lot of other people are experiencing a, a similar thing. So on the forums yesterday, anyone having loading issues, someone saying, first of all, extending the loading times, opening the app, as well as switching between menu screens, need to know if it's uh, on my end or kabam. And uh, yeah, everyone else saying like um, very bad loading issues. Was surprised it took this long to finally see a thread that I was the only one for a while. Uh, yep, game is having uh, uh, severe loading issues. Have the same issue. Arena is taking forever to do a single round. A lot worse if you kind of do not have uh, Arena Express mode. Uh, I mean, someone has even said that Express mode not exactly feeling very Express at the moment. Yes, that's that's my favourite. Um, uh, comment of uh, so so far that I've seen other forums express mode. Not it, I'm gonna, you're gonna get uh, oh, no, I won't, uh, laugh out uh, laugh out loud because I found that funny. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> anyway, what is um, what's the story behind this? Well, Kabam Jack says that not quite sure why it, this is happening, but the team is aware and has, has spun up more instance to help which is engineering speak for creating more capacity for data. Oh, I like that. That's that's cool. Yeah. Um, hey, should we put up more, spun up more instance to help? I don't know. Maybe we should do that. Uh, in layman's terms, creating more capacity for data. They're investigating the cause currently. Thanks for letting us know. So, so yeah, like, I don't know it, whether or not people are experiencing now. It's still an ongoing thing. Uh, latest was 2 a.m. my time that someone was saying, not for me, can't fight one. Uh, oh, yeah, someone said it's better now. And someone said, uh, fight arena match without forever loading wheel. It is, uh, if, I if, I, if I close the game, I lose my streak because I had to close the game after the second match, which counts as a forfeit loss. So, yeah, people are experiencing problems with it. I don't know, this morning, uh, between going loading screens, it seems to be fine, but the, the thing is, what is fine for me may not be fine for other people. I just know last night when I was questing and we were on, on the live stream, uh, it was very slow, a little bit laggy and choppy at times. So, yeah, hopefully some uh, some stuff sorted out with that today, but do bear in mind, me playing now, it's like there's the low lowest turnout of people to be playing the game in, uh, what is it, like 8 a.m. GMT time. Um, which is like, you know, middle of the night for, for, for other people around the world. So, you know, most of the, the game is predominantly played uh, by uh, America and Canada. Those are the biggest numbers from what I gather. Now we move on to Cassie Lang and some issues with Cassie Lang. What exactly? Well, let's learn together. Just got a brand new Cassie Lang yesterday and brought her up straight to rank four just to find out that she is not working correctly. She is missing attacks by not being able to make contact with her SP1 heavy and giant form. She fails to connect attack while being within necessary space to be able to hit the opponent. Worst part uh, that I advise everyone is not use her SP3 since that will trigger her giant form and make her situation a lot worse. I provide a video of how she kept uh, missing her fifth attack because her kick went over the opponent. Uh, that's a hitbox issue. I think this problem is having she's with the interaction with the opponent in hitbox. Oh, <laughs> I didn't read that. Oh, hitbox, yeah, well done. Um, Kabam, can we get some info if this character is working correctly or bug? I mean, it's obviously 
fucked. Um, and yeah, there needs to be like some video evidence of this one. So it's always a problem. Ah, there we go. Bianco, uh, Kono, Biancono. Now, first of all, there's good evidence there. Um, did, did you see? Did you see that? Like, it's just a case of like, like even now, it's it, like the AI, the enemy AI, the defender is throwing a special attack. Um, but there's a moment in time where the hitbox is literally, you can see you've you've hit, and it's like nothing, nothing, not there. But uh, I think it's just about uh, boom, right there. Like, it's just a case of, like, it ultimately just, like, whiffs it. So that's not good. I don't know if it's 100% there because there could be some other instances. Actually, no, I think that that's it. That's what we're kind of, like, we're dealing with here is that situation there with that kind of, like, whiff. Whiff, like, they're just like, a whiff, whiff and nothing. Boom. Of the combo. And it's, just like, there. I've been saying that there is a miss up. But, uh, anyway, we need to get to the bottom of this. Wait, wait, no, no. I've just found it. And it's, it's actually hilarious. It's, this this bug is hilarious. I'll just i just uh, it's because it, it's like a stunt performance. It's like a Jackie Chan kind of fighty, like John Wick style movie. Because the cat. <laughs> I'm going to slow it down. You're probably not seeing it, um, so I need to slow this down because it is just the most hilarious bug. But it's like. They just, like they're performing some sort of. <laughs> it's like it's like you know you okay right within the fight sequence you're gonna you're gonna duck I'm gonna throw my leg over the top of you. Oh my god, that is so funny. That is that is that is like this this bug. Whoop whoop, kick to midair. Whoop. <laughs> I mean, apart from the fact they whiff, so that's that's the most. Uh, is it whiffing? Like hitting into the block, knee to the face, punch there, kick there, and then whoop! <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Um, ah, but yeah, it's like it. This is it in action, hitting over them and <laughs> over the top. So it's a it's a bad it's a bad bug at the moment, especially if you want to use your Cassie Lang into oh, these fights. Oh, that is hilarious! That is the, that that bug. I, I can't I can't see it anymore. It's just that that bug is just so hilarious. Um, in any case, to the point, what a, what a kabam planning to um, to do about it? Well, there is good news. Uh, of of course, kabam need to do with this, and of course they do with it. So kabam have said that the following. Thank you for your continued reports about Cassie Lang. The team assures me they prior uh, that that me that. Prior to today, had identified they were working to resolve a couple of issues, some you all mentioned in this thread. However, with the information you provided, they were also able to suss out a new issue. They're already working on resolving these bugs ASAP. Uh, thanks again, everyone. So there's. So Cassie Lang's mega bugged. Ant bugged. She's got lots of ant bugs. Uh, she's got ants in her pants, it seems. Not what you Americans refer to as pants. Um, any case, yeah, so uh, that uh, a, a fix is in process. We'll look forward to that. I don't know, I kind of want it to be left the way it is because it just makes me laugh. The kind of like the video, uh, the kind of like the um, foot over the top of the uh, over the champion. That's just hilarious. But also a whiff with the SP1, that's going to be resolved as well because that looks like that's an issue as uh, Hulkbuster N1 puts there. So yeah. Oh, what a funny bug. Next up, and on to an interesting topic, and that is protection. Not the kind of, yes, protection, prophylactic protection, a different kind of protection. So an interesting discussion on Reddit about the extent of uh, Kabam's overuse of the node of protection. If you've seen this, this week's side quest, Thronebreaker, a lot of the time, most recently, Kabam are like, okay, well, what, what, we've got a node, okay, we've got a node. Um, what we're gonna do, I mean, for me, it's a problem because Alliance Wars, my, my paths are uh, protection-based paths. I've got the central path, uh, path five on both kind of like uh, section one and section two. So I always see protection. I always, always use protection. Man, it's, just, it's, it's a funky, it's funny Friday. It's funny Friday. It's funky Friday. Um, but yeah, uh, it just seems to be more of a kind of a more regular use of a thing. And it can be a, just a little bit annoying on repetition. I think more so when it's um, 
there's some that are fine. There's some that are not so fine uh, with it. And, and yeah, like a lot of people have pointed out, like Kabam's like overuse of it um, with uh, with stuff. So it's like, yeah, a bit annoying, a bit annoying. Um, so I, I really wish that the Kabam would kind of like use something else uh, and just like spice it up a little bit rather than having to kind of like, see it a lot of the time. Um, a lot, but a lot, it's a cool discussion to see on uh, Reddit on the topic of uh, protection. Uh, I'm so, I'm seriously, I'm so sick of protection mode, uh, node, especially the intercept version where it's damn hard to get it consistently because the AI moves at lightning speeds. Dealing with this version on Moon Dragon was a serious pain in the ass, even in Cavalier Vanquest. All the other instances are just plain tedious and only uh, serve to make the fight last longer and nothing else. I'm relieved I'm not the only person who has issues with Kabam's overuse of it. And now we end on this, and that is the loss of points situation in the seven star celebration event. As you know, it's in full swing. I'm trying to get another seven star, which is proving to be touch and go before the end of this event, because basically I need to get points and I need to get stuff and it's not is it going so well i think it's going it's gone it's gone well okay it's gone well but um yeah my endeavor now is to get another seven star but in any case other people aren't so fortunate with the extent of point situation and of course if you're not been able to update the game to play it you haven't been able to play this event which sucks for players but what is happening with um all these different situations so why are my solo uh, an alliance event scores different i know a few people have asked about why the alliance score is lower there was an error when granting missing points uh, that resulted in solo scores being rewarded twice. We elected to leave things the way they were instead of giving everyone whiplash by taking them back and messing with the milestones. So it's not that you're missing points for Alliance event, it's that you are you have extra points in solo. We checked the data reports directly from this thread and confirmed. Wow. So that's first of all, people got very lucky with that one because it's like saying for for me, like I've currently got forty thousand uh, points in my um, solo, and I've also got that in my in my alliance. But if Kaban were giving out an extra twenty k, which would be really nice, because that would kind of like bump me up to where I'd love to be. Uh, so if you've got a large bump of solo based points, you are lucky. You are really lucky uh, right now. Um, but, uh, um, you know, you might be thinking, like, why haven't I got more alliance points? Um, any case, like, yeah, super lucky. Depending on how many points you got, you are, could be super lucky. Um, we could have also, next up, what happened to crystals are lost during disconnects? Uh, we have confirmed with back-end data that no crystal spins completely disappeared. Champion rewards were granted to each count. They're just difficult for someone else to track. Definitely uh, an inconvenience. So, yeah, um there's no trust on what you might have got or not got for those crystals so uh yeah um i'm sure people will say like right well i think i, I got more than than that but it could have been a case that they've been popped open for you which isn't great because you may be checking like uh, i'd say go to level up click like champions and click um the level up icon so it might mean that you're going to get an idea if there was any new champions being added and obviously you have like a one or a two or something above uh the champion slot uh but if you if you know who you've leveled up then you know you've, you've leveled up and who's new uh to your uh, uh, account uh but didn't show up in alliance feed the same issue causing disconnects interrupts the reporting to the alliance feed making it an unreliable source of information I know it makes tracking who you pulled quite frustrating and removes the payoff of even opening the crystal, but the team is working to figure out, um, out why we're seeing increased latency with crystal openings recently. Yeah, and that's an issue. Like if you saw the video when I opened up some Paragons on Wednesday that um, I was able to, uh, it, was it took me ages to kind of like load in. So I don't know, there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment with that, with that. not good. And there we go, that has been the show for Friday. I've actually really enjoyed the show today. It's been a, a, a real laugh. Um, so make sure as well, support the channel. Make sure to get those new subscribes in, they're free. But also for those that very kindly spend and help me out and support uh, myself and the channel, me and Frank. Uh, thank you very much to those YouTube members and patrons who are on screen right now. Also, there's a support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. If you've got Amazon Prime, give an Amazon Prime for free. Support me. Please help. Uh, you know, that would be amazing. If you've got Amazon Prime, you know, give a free Twitch sub. Um, so thanks, anybody, everybody. And I'll see you all soon. Make sure as well to check out some other content located on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video whenever that will be. Much love, everybody. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye.